What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Okay, what's up, everybody? We are back. Okay, there's so many stories here that we have to go on. Um, there was this story, this was uh, five days ago, so I'm a little bit late. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment up if you even know you stopped by. I just have a few minutes. Um, Neo says, you, my bitch, has replaced I love you in R&B music these days. That's what he said. And I, all I have to say about that is, yeah, the words and the lyrics have changed, but the, the behavior from the men to the women and how women relate to each other has not. So yeah, the music, but like I said, the, the lyrics have changed. We know that everything is about, it's like, it's not, there's no code words for love. There's no code words for the body parts. It's just, we're just talking about it and we're talking about it and in, in vulgar ways, like R and B has become vulgar, like, um, like, you know, Chris, when you think about Chris Brown, just listening to the lyrics of the words, they're like vulgar. It's like, there's not, there's no love there. And I can understand what Neo is saying, but the music, even though the music and the lyrics were all lovey dovey, it did not change the way that the men and women were relating to each other. So that's what I thought about that. So I just wanted to share that. Um, Pastor Mike Todd trends after rubbing spit on someone's face during a sermon. This is from Baller Alert. It says Mike Todd trends, Pastor Mike Todd trends after rubbing spit on someone's face during a sermon. The Tulsa pastor has gone viral, which he wanted to do on Twitter after rubbing spit on a church goer's face, which turns out to be his brother. Uh, Mike Todd, the lead pastor at Transformation Church, is seen spitting in his hand and rubbing it all over a man's face during his sermon. The video located in the church YouTube page, Todd is demonstrating the idea of receiving a vision from God um, might get nasty. Uh, many people in the audience are heard letting out prolonged ills or oh my gosh in surprise and disgust. The pastor explained, and this is where most people would not face Jesus anymore. What most people would do is turn away. The pastor continued, you, how you just reached, sorry, how you just reacted <laughs> is how people in your life will react when God is doing what it takes for a miracle. The man in the video is Todd's brother, according to TMZ. Pastor Todd has been criticized by many Twitter users questioning his bizarre non-C19 friendly sermon practices. Read the rest on BallerAlert.com. I'm not going to show the video because I am I I I have a visceral reaction to anything related to spit and hawking and all that stuff. I literally cannot hold it. I don't care what it is. I can't, I can't see someone spit the way I, I watched it for a second. And then I started like my body started reacting. I can't, to me, I feel like even talking about it to me, I feel like spit. See, like, I can't even talk about it. Spit is like, I feel like when you spit in someone's face, I don't give a fuck if you are aligning it with the Bible or not. Fuck that. If you spit in someone's face, that is the highest form of disrespect because what is coming out of your body in the form of mucus and you're spitting it towards somebody is telling me that you're disgusting. And I felt rage come over me as he wiped that spit on that guy's face. And I have to ask myself, what kind of are you that you would allow somebody to do that to you in the name of anybody, let alone God? Like, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with your brain? But we know that pastors do things in this day of the internet and social media to go viral, to intentionally go viral. And this is what he wanted to do. He had to do something completely outrageous. And then he comes out to apologize. And in his apology, he starts off saying the spit hit the fan. So you think this is funny. And it and it was to his brother. And 
I've seen other videos of him doing the same thing, but with mud and spit, I think, um, because I think that's what the actual scripture is. But these weird, and then y'all want to talk about Mary and these cults and stuff like that. Only somebody who has fully been ingrained in some cult-like atmosphere would allow someone to wipe their germs in the form of mucus on their face and stand there. And then I am completely there. I'm completely disgusted by that. And then for it to be a pastor, it only affirms the things that I think about the church already. And I will keep them to myself. Y'all talk about these cults and stuff like that. This is what that kind of stuff looks like. And I know that that's his brother. I know that he wanted to go viral and he's getting the shine that he wants. And a lot of these pastors don't give a damn about anything else. But look at me, look at me, look at me. At one point he took the spit and was going like this in his hand. He knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. He knew that it would get a reaction. He knew that he would have to come out and apologize. But then in his apology, promote whatever the hell he's promoting. And again, it just all the way down to the the foundation of it. You didn't do this to teach a lesson about God. You did this so that people could look at you. That's why you did it. You didn't, you're not doing this to spread a message of love because that is the ultimate message, isn't it? No, what you did was take your mucus and slap it on a man's face for clicks and views. So there's a new way to sell your soul to the devil, isn't it? A digital way to do it. Right? Because in the name of God, you did this. How dare you? In the name of the source of all of this, that's what you're doing? That's what I be saying. People get gifts. And I don't believe that that is a gift, what he did. I don't believe that he is a messenger of God. I don't believe that he is a messenger of words of of God. I don't believe none of that. I believe it's a narcissistic, self-absorbed man who wants attention on himself so that he can perform on stage on Sundays in the name of God. He's a disgusting person. And, and yeah, oh, I heard, I saw some people saying, oh, people make mistakes. No, that was intentional. That was intentional. That wasn't a mistake. He intended to do that so that he can have an impact and get the response that he wanted to bring attention to his himself, to himself. If I were that church, I would, he would not be able to, nah, we're not doing that. And not only that, we're in the middle of a pansexual And you're taking your saliva and wiping it across your brother's face. And he's a fool for sitting there taking it. It would be no way. What are you doing? What is wrong with you? I'm looking at the brother like, nigga, what the fuck is wrong with your ass? What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Honestly. Crazy. Yeah, he comes out and apologizes after wiping spit on a man's face during a sermon. He called it extreme and disgusting. No, he did it on purpose. He did it on purpose. He knew what he was doing. He knew it would have an impact. He knew it. Alvin Kelly, y'all remember Alvin? He was Trina's um, assistant. And he's been hanging out with Nene and Tamar. Alvin Kelly arrested after being listed as wanted by Miami police for allegedly participating in unlawful sexual activity with a minor. He's wanted, honey. 
a wanted poster, honey, like the kind that, that sit in the damn post office, honey, wanted. That's crazy. The neighborhood talk. Hold on. That's crazy. I, for, I always forget about the neighborhood talk. There we go. Here, let me go. What time? How? How? What time we got? Okay. Let me see. Where's Alvin? I'm gonna find the story. They post so many stories in a day. They post so many stories. Oh, I can't find it, child. I for, I forget about Hollywood talk. I need to come over here, huh? And get the little stories. But yeah, Alvin Kelly. Y'all know who he is. Y'all know who he is. I can't find the story here. That was from, um, I, fa I saw the story originally on um, Funky Doniva's page. And because um, Funky Doniva had just mentioned something about Alvin hanging out with Nini and Tamar. And why would he be hanging out with them? Like what what is the point of why would they be hanging out with somebody like that? Hold on. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. It says Trina's former assistant and love and hip hop Miami star arrested for a sexual contact with a minor. Alvin Kelly, Trina's former assistant and love and hip hop. Okay. Love and hip hop Miami star Alvin Kelly has been arrested. The reality star and former assistant to rapper Trina was arrested Wednesday for allegedly protect, 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 partaking in sexual activities with a minor. Reportedly, Alvin was listed as wanted by the Miami Police Department for allegedly having sex with the minor. Um, we first introduced Alvin Kelly on season one of Love and Hip Hop Miami when he was working as Trina's assistant. We later watched the two have a major falling out in the second season of the show and witnessed Trina firing Kelly. Him, he also had a feud with Trina's cousin, Bobby Light. Alvin has also worked with reality star and entrepreneur Nene Leakes. The two have been spotted hanging out together on several occasions. Child as Nene and Alvin. Oh, let me go back. Look, mm -mm, girl. As of now, Alvin Kelly is in police custody. No further information has been released on the matter. Check back. That's from the Jasmine brand. Mm, nasty, nasty girl. It's a lot more where that came from. It's a lot more where that came from. These, these, you're going down. It's a lot of stories on here. Well, let me go back to my saved stories because I saved them. But, and I'll save some other stuff and we'll have some other stuff to talk about later. A Cracker Barrel order to pay a man $9.4 million after he was served a glass full of chemicals. This is from Hollywood Unlocked. Elisa Brook, a, George, a judge awarded a Tennessee man over $9 million after he was served cleaning liquid instead of water in Marin County Cracker Barrel. William Cronin ate at the restaurant in 2014 and the waitress accidentally filled his glass water mixed with commercial grade bleach called echo sand plaintiff had then ingested what he thought was water you didn't smell it only to immediately realize that it was not ice water it was but but it was some chemical that caused a burning sensation in his mouth and esophagus girl first of all i would first i have two things how was he acting? Because that sounded like that was intentional. How do you put you you thought that this you thought that this bleach was water? And where did you pour it from? Can I see the receptacle that you poured this from so I can know for sure that you did not think that this was water? She served that man. That that whoever the server was, I would like to know how that man was acting with that server because. Why are you giving, why would you give this man bleach? He probably wasn't being nice to her or him or them. Probably. I have a feeling. Because why would you do that? That was intentional. I don't care. I need to see the receptacle that you, that you poured this out of. So I can, so I could know that you think that you thought this was water. This is where you poured it from. And you thought this bottle was water and you put ice in it. Mm. Yeah. I think that was intentional. I do.
I do. I do. I do. I do. Stop being racist against Asians. Never have been, and I'm not. In fact, I love Asian culture and have spent much of my, my time. This is Meredith. They're trying to come for Meredith. Child, let me tell you something. They need to do a vetting process for the women. That's it. Do a vetting process. The 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I'm out of here, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. I gotta go. Peace.